First graders, welcome to our music lesson today on drawing notes. And last time we started with our piece of paper with our three straight or two straight lines. And today we're going to find a piece of paper and we're going to draw three straight lines. And I used a ruler to make mine. So you might want to find a ruler too. You should have your piece of paper and three markers, different colors. Um, you can be creative with that. If you want to do just one color, that's fine. And today, instead of a quarter, we're going to use a nickel. So if you would go get a nickel, your paper, your markers, and draw three lines on your staff, that would be fantastic. So you can push pause now and come back when you have those things. All right, so here we go. Today we're going to practice drawing our quarter notes, which we know are do, 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 do. They get the steady beat. When we did the fruit lesson a few cycles ago, um, they had one orange on each plate. I'm going to practice drawing four do, and I am going to put it right here on the line, and it's a little tricky, but I'm going to trace one nickel, and I'm going to draw a stem, and then the next part is very, very, very important, and some of you got it last time, and some of you missed it. And the part that I'm going to show next is that you need to shade it in. So I know you can't see when my hand is here, but when I release my hand from the paper, you're going to see that I colored in that circle all the way. Okay? So make sure that you color it in. Quarter notes look like that. If you don't color it in, it's a different kind of note, which we'll learn about in second grade. Quarter notes do, just like that. Then I'm going to ask you to draw three more on your paper. I am going to um, draw them kind of fast, so you don't have to keep up with me. If you need more time, you just pause it and take time to make yours look nice and neat. Fourth one, I'm going to draw my stems, and then I'm going to shade them in. If I don't shade them in, then they're a different kind of note. So shading them in to get your do, your quarter note. Okay, now to draw your due day, which are your paired eighth notes, we're going to include this time a beam across the top. This is very, very important. I'm going to draw my circle with my nickel, and I'm going to put two on here, and I'm going to draw them kind of close together so that I can put more on my line. Then I draw them just like a quarter note, shade them in, solid colors, and then when I put my stems on them, I'm going to draw a beam across the top to connect them. See that beam? Very important when you are drawing paired eighth notes that you put that beam on there. I am going to let you finish drawing another set here, here, and if you can fit four on your paper, go ahead and put them on. If you can only fit two or three, that's okay as well. But you can stop the video and finish that before we go on to line three. Okay. 
back again, boys and girls, and now we're going to learn about a new music symbol for line three, and this is called a quarter rest. This is your quarter note, and this has sound. A quarter rest has silence. We did these on our plate of fruit when I put nothing on there. It was a, a rest instead of sound, it was silence. Rests look like this. And I am going to teach you, that's kind of hard to draw. I'm gonna teach you a very, well, I wouldn't say it's easy, but step-by-step -step process to make a nice rest, quarter rest. If you look at my picture sideways, you can see, it's kind of hidden in here, but you can see that I have a letter Z. I'm gonna trace it with a light color so you can see. I have a letter Z, and then I have connected to it a C at the bottom. And when I put it straight, then I have my quarter rest. So again, I'm gonna take my purple and I'm gonna draw, it's hard to see with my hand here, I know. I'm gonna draw a sideways Z and connect it to a C. Sideways Z, connect it with a C. Sideways Z, connect it with a C. And you can draw as many fit on your line. I was able to get six on mine. And then I want you to go back, if you would, and I'm using four markers, by the way. I'm gonna ask you to circle your best quarter note, your best paired eighth notes, and your best quarter rest, the ones you like the best, okay? I like my first quarter note the best. And on my paired eighth notes, I only drew one set, so I like this one the best. And on my quarter rests, I actually like this one the best. And then I would like you to write your name at the bottom and take a screenshot, take a picture of your work and submit it into Schoology, into the assignment that says quarter note, eighth notes, and quarter rest. And you can put your drawing in there for me. Thank you so much, boys and girls.